We all know water is the number one enemy of RVs. Not just on the outside, but inside as well. I'm going to show you today what I've done within our washroom to make sure that I never get any water damage. Let's get to it. This is Tyler. Like and subscribe. I love it. And push the notification so you never miss a video. <laughs> so we're going to get up close and personal with our shower. Just that everybody knows, my clothes are on the entire time in this video. So one of the very first things I did with this trailer after we bought it was to add in some clear silicone caulking in a variety of different places. Basically, the perimeter of your shower insert all the way around across the top. And along the top is a very critical spot through here. This very thin plastic panel sits here. There are screw locations underneath these caps. But along this edge, there'd be a gap. And with your shower head here, particularly if you're a tall person, you could just imagine the water could be spraying everywhere. So I've added a thick bead of that clear silicone along here. I did that over three years ago and it's holding up very well. I do keep an eye on it. You can see in the corner here where there is a little more gap that you've got to deal with. So sealing that entire perimeter will keep all that water from going down and behind and getting water trapped in behind, you can end up with mold and you can end up with rot. So I wasn't concerned along the seam between the side panel and the tub itself. The tub has a lip that comes up in behind, so it's almost like siding that goes out over that edge. You're not going to have water coming in and working its way up. And you can see where that lip goes up inside in here. I do add that silicone all along here, up inside, all the way down, and along the base of the tub wall with the floor, and all the way along and behind. You should carry it all the way through here. I also place it over here, which goes to the exterior door that services our washroom. Another place you want to put it is around the fixture for the taps. They do it from the factory. I do add on some extra there. To protect that area as well because there would be a hole through this panel to service the pipes here and you want to ensure you've got that sealed off as well so i did have an experience one time where somebody was in our shower the water was coming off the edge here down running across and actually running out the door so one thing i've done since then is when i'm setting up the trailer i'll actually have the nose of the trailer up slightly so what that means is if you do get any water that's running out here, coming down here, it's gonna pool in this area rather than running to the front of the trailer. Much easier cleanup. Something else we also do, we take some used towels, just for extra piece of comfort, and put them in here. So if you do get anything spilling over, you don't have to worry about it. One of the things with this crossroad zinger is a shower curtain. This is something that's worth considering upgrading going to a fixed glass door. While you're in the shower, you can take a bottle of shampoo, conditioner, whatever you want, just to hold that curtain in place. Because it will move, it will gap out. It's tough to keep it in there. Some people use Velcro tabs to stick on here. They're not going to last long. This curtain is pretty flimsy and they will rip. Of course, 3M hooks. I've used cheap ones. They haven't held on the wall here. The 3M version holds perfectly. Great for hanging a towel on when you're not in the shower. Hand towel for those to use when you're washing your hands in the sink. Are there things you do to keep your RV washroom safe and dry that I didn't cover off today? Please share in the comments below. And of course, anytime you're in getting a shower, you're always going to want to have your roof vent open and your fan going. We do have the vent covers for our three roof vents on the trailer. I think they're an invaluable investment. I think they cost $100, including installation. So then you can have your roof vents open even when it's raining out. You have positive air circulation within your trailer. If you found these tips useful, 
please consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications and you'll be advised of future content around all things RV and towing related. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day and see you next time. Take care.